which Kayla loves the guy that you mentioned. He's a polarizing one. You know, you get the report from Andrew Slater, who does a tremendous job on the recruiting scene uh, from a national standpoint, uh, him saying that, yeah, Missouri's the leader, but Michigan, you know, could be in the mix. NIL uh, looks like it is a, a big factor there. And, and, you know, it is for a lot of these guys that have some high major suitors, that sort of thing. But Caleb Love, very polarizing. It's already sparked quite the debate between the fan base. Would you take him? Would you not take him? I strongly believe I talked to somebody who, who covers North Carolina, uh, in the ACC today. And I strongly believe that it was not an option for Caleb Love to come back to North Carolina. I also strongly believe that Caleb Love did not want to come back to North Carolina. It was kind of a mutual type of thing there. So, and, and what are the reasons for that? Well, you hear the rumors about, you know, he doesn't get along with his teammates for various reasons that we don't have to go into. Uh, and, you know, whatever. Two Ooh. is probably more importantly, Anthony, because some of those teammates are returning, right? If he wasn't the problem or part of the problem on the floor, it would have been him coming back and them not coming back. So probably more importantly is shot selection, shot volume, you know, a, a low percentage, especially this past season. Uh, that backcourt between him and R.J. Davis did not mesh. Uh, that backcourt was part of a North Carolina team that had its fewest amount of assists in a season since assists began being tracked in 1968, 1969. Um, I read that as well. So look, he shot less than 30% from three, but he attempted 244 three pointers this past season. Um, he's also a guy that scored 27 points in the second half of a sweet 16 game against UCLA last year uh, in 2022. He's also the guy that hit the dagger three to seal the game against Duke in the final four. Uh, He's also the guy that went two of 10 from three in the national championship game in which they lost. Um, so he is very much hot and cold. Uh, he's very polarizing, but, um, you know, he raises your ceiling. I think maybe he lowers your floor from, for, uh, from a game to game perspective, but uh, your thoughts on Caleb love, and then we'll get to uh, uh, quick hitters on some other guys that catch our eye. Yeah. I, I almost feel the opposite on that where I feel like he, he raises your floor for next year's roster, but I don't know that the ceiling is <laughs> because, you know, it's all the things that, you know, that we heard about this year's team with Michigan, where the ball would just stop moving on offense and he could be streaky from, um, you know, from the perimeter and things like that. I'm not saying again, it's another situation. If he wants to come here, you figure it out because he's arguably one of the top, you know, three, four, five best guys in the portal right now. Uh, on three has him at uh, number four in terms of players currently available in the transfer portal. Hunter Dickinson, number one. Um, Max Obmus from Oral Roberts is number two. Haven't heard any contact with him on Michigan. Harrison Ingram, uh, we'll see. But uh, obviously a guy that Jawan Howard has a relationship with. But um, yeah, if, it, if one of those blue chip transfers wants to come, you figure it out and you build the roster from there. Um, but I think that uh, I, I could see the pros and cons to it. I mean, he's a he's a high volume guy, and we'll see. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, I think some of the chemi or some of the character stuff, I think, is probably a little bit overblown. I think that was maybe just kind of a powder keg of drama. Uh, at North Carolina this past season, but we'll see. I I would take I would take him if he wanted to come, but again, it sounds like it might come down to NIL, and we know that uh, you know, Michigan's having a hard enough time playing that game on the football end of things, let alone for basketball. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, not surprised that contact has been made. I mean, this is as as expansive a board I think that we've ever seen Jawan Howard put together. So, we'll see. No doubt. I would take him to gun to my head. I know it would be a decision. Uh, it'd be a tough decision. It'd be something that you probably at times during the season, you know, wonder about. Um, but at the same time, a couple things, one change of scenery sometimes can be good. I mean, I think Caleb love uh, definitely realized he wanted to be out of that situation into a new one. Uh, you know, I, I also think that he'll be older now. He, he wants to continue to prove that he can play in the NBA. I mean, he flirted with going a couple of years ago. Uh, and, and wasn't able to, uh, you know, to get his stock high enough to do that. Um, and, you know, I think he would, you know, could potentially buy into the culture here. But uh, again, there are a lot of ifs there. Um, but I, again, I, I would take him too. I mean, and, and my point on the ceiling thing is 
he can score like that. I mean, he can light it up. Uh, so he could lead you to the final Monday night of the season, but the floor may be being lowered because he can also shoot you out of a game and you're going home <laughs> early or you're losing a game. You shouldn't that sort of thing. So that's kind of right. where I stand on him. 